Today on our 2016 Chevrolet Cruze, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Curt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Part number is C56319. Now here's what your wiring kit's going to look like when you pull it out of the package. Of course, this is the plug end we're looking for. This gives us a standard four pole flat trailer connector. That's going to include running lights, left turn and brake signal, right turn and brake signal, and also a ground to the vehicle so it keeps everything working properly. Now this is going to fit any standard four pole trailer connector as long as it's flat, just like this one. Also a dust cover to kind of cap that off. Now the system's going to work by pulling signal from behind the passenger side tail light housing. You can see the T connector. This is designed to plug directly into our factory wiring with no cutting or splicing required. And then the yellow one, this is going to go over to the driver's side. It's going to bring those signals in so when the car's blinker is on, the box recognizes that. Then it's going to convert that signal into a usable signal or the blinker on our trailer, or running lights, right turn, left turn, or brake. Now the box is a standalone powered system. So the power that is going out to the trailer is not coming from the vehicle's lighting system. It's going to be coming from the battery. So you'll never have to worry about any kind of overload of the vehicle's lighting system. And the box is also acts as an isolator. This is going to isolate the trailer side from the vehicle side. So in the event that you might have some shorts on your trailer or something like that, it's not going to be sent into the vehicle wiring. You're also going to have a white wire here. This is your ground. That's what's going to ground the system to the vehicle. It already has a ring terminal on it. And we're going to have a decent amount of hardware. And we're going to have just about all the hardware that we need to get the thing installed. The system is also protected by a fuse. See the provided 10 amp fuse will go in the fuse holder. So if there's any issues, the fuse will blow before we start doing any damage to the internal electronics of our box. Now, when you want to use your wiring, you're just going to bring it out and over the threshold. You can see that padding there is going to keep it protected. You can use whatever length you want. The area to avoid would be the striker here that would cause damage to your wiring and cause it not to work for you. When we're ready to get it tucked away, I like to use the dust cover to help out with that. That just gets placed around the wiring, just like that. We'll start at the bottom and we'll loop our wire back and forth on top of itself. Bring that cover around. Let's plug it back in. As you can see, that's going to kind of keep everything compact. Now we're going to take out the floor liner from the trunk to allow us room to remove the rear scuff panel, which is right along here. We just want to kind of reach at the bottom. We're going to pull out slightly and then up. We'll do that on both sides. I'm just releasing the clips along that top edge there. All right up here on the top edge, we've got a push fastener. We're going to use a trim panel tool. We want to get that pulled out. Once that's pulled out, you can see how we can just take our trunk liner and kind of push that down and out of the way. There's one additional push fastener down here at the bottom. If you take that out, that's going to give us some additional room. Now with that move forward, you can see the passenger side plug we'll be using. I'm going to push in on that top tab and then just get them separated. We're going to bring the green and brown side in. That's what we'll be plugging into the passenger side here. like that. Now if you look right above that plug, there's going to be a nut on a stud there. It's not used on this particular vehicle. Yours it might be. We're going to get that taken off there and we'll use that as a ground. So we'll bring our white wire, the ring terminal, that's going to go right over top of that and we'll just thread that nut back on. And we'll get that tightened back down. And really the one last connection that we need to make over here is going to be for our power wire. Closer to the front of the vehicle, but in the trunk here, you're going to find the battery. So we'll use our standard butt connectors here. We get that crimped on the black wire coming out of our box. Now we're going to strip our 12 volt power wire back 
twist it up and we'll get that added to the other side of that butt connector. With all of our connections made, we'll get our box mounted into position. We're going to use some rubbing alcohol to clean the back of that off. And we'll stick our double side foam tape to it. I'm going to mount that right on the back side of this metal surface here. Good flat surface, so we're also going to clean that off. It's also going to allow us to get a zip tie around the box and hold it in place also. So we've got that stuck in place. We'll use that longer zip tie that came with our kit. And we can go all the way around it using those two holes. For the four pole wire, let that rest down there. And our yellow wire, we're going to take this over to the driver's side. We'll just follow along the back edge here. You see, you can just kind of tuck that in behind, going the full length here. We we'll use a zip tie on each side here just to keep our slack up. And that'll take care of this side. Just make sure we've got the room we need for our panel to fit all the way back in position there. You just want to move that trunk liner so it lines up with the hole that we removed our fastener from and push that back in the top and down here on the bottom. And along this edge you just pull up on that weather stripping and that holds that in position for you. On the driver's side you've got the hook. On the bottom side there's a little bolt there. It's going to take a seven millimeter. Turn that out of there. You can see how it's got that hook. Pull this liner back. Got our plug right here. It's going to separate the same way. Push it on that tab. And the T connector will go in. We've got a little bit of slack there, so use a zip tie or two to get that tidied up. And we can put this back in position. Then we'll bring our rear fascia back in. Just want to align those tabs. Pop down going across. And just like on the side, pull that weather stripping. It'll come up and over the edge. Now we'll route our power wire up towards the battery compartment here. We got how much we're going to need and we can get that snipped off. We'll strip the end of that back. And you see each side of the fuse holder are stripped back. So we're going to place one side and the other side of the butt connector. Get that crimp down. And to the other side we're going to add the provided ring terminal. Then we're going to pull up on this cover. You can see it's just the two tabs that hold it in place. You'll see a bolt going through right through the top. That's where we're going to connect our ring terminal. We'll use a 10 millimeter socket to remove that. Place our ring terminal right underneath and get it threaded right back into position. Then we'll take the provided 10 amp fuse, place that in our fuse holder. And then take our little bit of excess wiring here, get it secured. You can use the small hole in the bottom of the fuse holder just to kind of get everything wrapped up together. Snip that off, tuck it down here, out of the way, and then slide our cover back on. Now we're ready to test out the wiring. To test out the harness, we're going to use part number I26. We'll just plug that in, and we should see running lights in this bulb, left turn and brake in that LED bulb, and right turn and brake in that one. We'll start by turning on our running lights. We'll do our left blinker, our right blinker, and our brakes. 
Now with everything working properly, that's going to complete our installation of the Curt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Part number C56319 on our 2016 Chevrolet Cruze. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.